Central Illinois, what a soccer doubleheader tonight in the uh, 2A sectional. Four great Central Illinois teams battling. Game one was Peoria Richwoods taking on Morton, a Big 12 middle line, I imagine. The fourth minute, the Potters go right down the field and score. Sophie Davila to Drew Mutchler. It was one zip Potters early, but really after that, Richwoods in control. On the corner kick in the 15th minute, Jackie Contreras to Ella Merritt Ahonda. For the pretty goal, we're tied 1-1. It would stay that way until late in double overtime. Contreras to G.U. Colmer, the over-the-head game-winning corner kick goal. Richwoods wins it in double overtime, 2-1. I was surprised myself that it even went in because it's like a backwards header, so I'm just super blessed that it went in, so thank you. You're welcome. What a win for the Knights. Thank you for the highlight. I enjoyed it. Uh, game two, Peoria and Notre Dame taking on Normal U High and the Irish strike early in this one. They're going to play a long ball here ahead to Ava LaFollette. LaFollette gets behind the defense and now she's one on one with the keeper and that's not much fun for the keeper. One zip. Peoria and Notre Dame. Normal, you had a chance to tie their great star, Aubrey Vallada, the big swing, but look at the save by Sidney Wharton for the Irish. Then Parker Miller is going to send the ball in, and look at that redirect by LaFollette for another goal to make it two zip. Later, LaFollette off the wall right to Maya Wardle. Wardle knocks it home. The Irish win it four zip. LaFollette had a hat trick. Obviously, a team effort. We all just had to, like, just have effort, and just like we all fought through the game, and we all just had to come out really strong. The Irish tonight, Saturday morning for the sectional title. All right, so the state softball tourney, unbelievable game today. Olympia battling Quincy Notre Dame in a two-way sectional down in Williamsville. Olympia took the lead early. Danica Frazier is going to go yard in the first inning, a two-run shot. But Olympia trailed 6-4 to four in the final at bat when they simply would not let their season come to an end. Lydia Rutledge rips a two-run double right here, and then Sarah Cross is going to hit a two-run triple. Olympia battles back in their final at bat to save their season and their state title hopes. Spartans win it 9-6. to six. They refuse to lose. We knew we didn't want to be done. We couldn't picture ourselves being done, and they stayed together. That was our game plan, just stay together, and they did that and came out with the win. Olympia wins in 2A. Normal U High advances in 2A. Havana lost in 1A. IVC taking out Rockridge. IVC's had a great season as they advance to the sectional for the first time in about a decade. Their catcher Morgan Ellington to Johara Bowes for the tag right here. But IVC ran into Rockridge, and Rockridge is awfully good. They're doing the gritty, and they're winning it today by a final score of 5 zip. Well, let's head to baseball in Peoria. Notre Dame taking on Spring Valley Hall at the Chula County sectional. Zach Joseph's going to get a little blooper here that's going to drop in and score a pair of runs. Lost an all-win and one of the runners coming home. And I'll tell you what, Notre Dame's Bryce Seaton was dynamite on the mound. He got a little bit of help from his outfielder. Watch Luke Nora with a great catch. Peoria and Notre Dame, they've got that Irish magic going. They're winners 4-1. to one. They advance to the sectional final. Class 1A, Delavan is a winner. They had their ace in the mound tonight down in Menden. Cole Norell, 15 strikeouts. He tossed a one-hitter. Meanwhile, they put together one big inning to win this one. Kelton Nassiger with an RBI sacrifice fly. They then got RBI hits by Bryson Horning, by Colton Miller. They win this game over Bluffs. Now, Illini Bluffs lost their game to Jacksonville. Route, route will play Delavan. To big school regionals. The Big 12 champion Normal Community Ironman hosting their own regional. They had their ace, Ethan Everly, on the mound. The Louisville recruit gave up a couple early runs, but boy, the lefty was dominant after that. Meanwhile, Normal Community finds a way to win. Caleb Hackman right here drives in Brady Burkhart. Then Ryan Thiel's going to drive in Kyle Beatty. Thiel, Hackman, Beatty, how many wins those guys have been a part of? They win it today by a final score of 4 to 2. We head to the middle on I champs. Dunlap and East Peoria, both at the Galesburg Regional. Dunlap and Richwoods, the game of the day. Cameron Hayes drives in Noah Kravitz. Richwoods has a 3 1 lead, looking for the upset in the sixth inning. But in the bottom of the sixth, Christian Ferrari drills this one all the way to the wall in Galesburg. Yeah, that'll bring home a couple. Then it's going to be Eli Mechanic, who the freshman with the big RBI triple. Dunlap scores 5. Five runs in the sixth, and Dunlap advances with a 6-3 win. Not as many dramatics in the East Peoria game. They dominate Galesburg. R.J. Dunchin on the mound was terrific. He got some help from his senior second baseman. Landon hit him with a nice play right there, and out at first. Nice play by East Peoria. Well, later it's going to be R.J. Dunchin driving in David Hartwell with the first of many East Peoria runs. Hartwell's coming home with the speed, and East Peoria is into the final. The middle one-eye champs will meet for a regional final on Saturday. That 
will be fun. At the Morton Regional, Washington is a winner over Limestone tonight. Washington scored six runs in the first three innings. Carter Prina right here with the base hit for the Panthers. Meanwhile, Braden Vanderheit was terrific on the bump, and Washington's going to get a win in this one. Vanderheit the K, Washington the win, 7-1. to one. Morton and Metamora played a marathon game. The Potters got great starting pitching from Tanner Spangler. He was dynamite. The heat caught looking right here. Owen Adams, the walk-off hit in the 11th inning, and the Potters win it 4-3. They'll take out Washington in Saturday's regional final. The Washington lacrosse team is into the sectional final. They're winners tonight over Lincoln Way West. Jackson McQuarrie behind the goal to Gabe Patterson for the goal. Washington will play Lockport Friday.